السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في هذا الفيديو سيكون إن شاء الله ترجمة إلى اللغة الإنجليزية للآية في سورة الأنعام الآية رقم واحد الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور ثم الذين كفروا بربهم يعددون سيكون ترجمة إلى اللغة الإنجليزية وتفسير الشيخ السعدي باللغة الإنجليزية. This video is gonna be تفسير for verse number one chapter number six سورة الأنعام chapter number six verse number one. I did one in Arabic and this is the English version. Let's begin, insha'Allah. Bismillah. This is Tafsir al-Sa'di. And you could find this Tafsir in my library. It's 10 volumes. I'll leave the link in the description, insha'Allah. Alhamdulillahi alladhi khalaqa al-samawati wal-awf wa ja'ala al-dhulumati wal-nur ثم الذين كفروا بربهم يعددون. Let me read it slowly for you. الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور. ثم الذين كفروا بربهم يعدلون. What does that mean in English? All be praise be to Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and made the darkness and the light. Yet those who disbelieve ascribe equals to their Lord. That's the meaning of the verse number one. Now let's go to the tafsir. This is tafsir Sa'di in English. Here Allah tells us that he is to be praised for his perfect attributes, uh, for his greatness and majesty in general and for the attributes mentioned here in particular he praises himself for creating the heavens and the earth and a tabari if you go to tafsir tabari tabari says in Arabic, and I'm going to translate to English regarding this verse. Tabari says, هذا إخبار ينحى منح الأمر This is an... Uh, Allah is telling this. In the meantime, He's ordering... He's given a... He is giving us an order to praise Him for creating the heavens and the earth. That's what the Tabar says in his tafsir. <laughs> so, Allah proclaiming that he, you know, the praising of himself, and that's an indication for us to praise him that he created the heavens and the earth. That's what the Tabar says in tafsir al uh, it's in Arabic, uh, and I don't know if there is a, a translation for Tafsir Tabari. 
and if I if I find it, I will buy it. But I, I looked for Tafsir Tabari. It's only in Arabic. I have the Arabic version, and I speak Arabic, so I'm translating the meaning of what the Tabari says to English. Uh, let's go back to this is Tafsir Saidi, and this is is, is being translated from Arabic too. But this is, you could find this tafsir in my library and I'll leave the link for you in the description. It's 10 volumes for the whole Quran as a PDF. <clears throat> Let's read again. Here Allah tells us that he is to be praised for his perfect attributes for his greatness and majesty in general and for the for the attributes mentioned here in particular he praises himself for creating the heavens and the earth which are indicative of his perfect might and for his vast knowledge and mercy this is how we know that there is a creator to this universe, by the way, as a Muslim. We ponder, we reflect in the universe, and we see some of the signs, and some of the signs of the attributes and the names of Allah in the creation, which is called now the fine-tuning of the universe. Uh, there is a fine-tuning in the universe from the atom to the galaxy this fine-tuning shows some of the signs of his names and his attributes and this is why we know that this creation the universe the heavens and the earth and what's between them it must came from the creator subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's called the fine-tuning of the initial state of the Big Bang and the fine-tuning of the of the physical constant of the universe and the fine-tuning of the laws of physics. All of those fine-tuning indicate that there is a creator who created the fine-tuning of the uh, beginning of the universe, beginning of the Big Bang, because the Big Bang needs a creator. Uh, and actually, there is a saying to Stephen Hawking in his book, Brief History of Time, he says, if the rate of expansion one second after the Big Bang had been smaller by even one part in a hundred thousand million million, the universe would have re-collapsed before it ever reached its present size. And that's an indication of the fine-tuning of the universe. As Stephen Hawking says in his book, Brief History of Time. And uh, this is what, the, what we call it now in cosmology, uh, the cosmological constant, which is, is fine-tuned to one part in a trillion, 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 trillion. This fine-tuning is amazing. And there is another fine-tuning actually by uh, Professor Sir Roger Spenzius. He calculated the fine-tuning, uh, the possibility that this universe came out of singularity by just uh, pure chance. His uh, calculation indicated it's impossible for this universe to come just by a coincidence his fine, his number was uh, one in the nu nu numerator and in the denominator there is 10 to the power 10 to the power 123 and and uh, you could look it up in the you could google it the fine-tuning of the gravity by Sir Roger Spenzius in the beginning of the universe. This fine-tuning, we call it in Islam, 
some of the signs of Allah names and some of the signs of Allah uh, attributes <laughs> and this is this is an evidence that this universe needs a creator because fine-tuning according to the law of statistics and probability and the, and the formula of probability in statistics fine-tuning it's impossible to come out of a chance why because you have too many possible numerical values could go in the, in the denominator so the fraction becomes impossible for any fine-tuning to come out of just chance you need a fine-tuner to fine-tune those numbers you need a fine-tuner to fine-tune those laws of physics you need a fine-tuner to fine-tune the physical constant of the of nature <coughs> and that's another thing really I read about evolution and they say natural selection okay natural selection is a process needs a creator because nature is not creator nature is is being created and we know that through science that when we took samples from nature we we'll find that nature is uh, created from atoms so who created those atoms who fine-tuned the nucleus of the atoms who fine-tuned the proton who fine-tuned the nitron nitron who fine-tuned the electron you know the atomic structure of nature who fine-tuned that so usually when I speak with uh, some of the people who believe in evolution <coughs> they told me they tell me this is natural selection I understand natural selection but natural selection is, is coming from nature nature is composed of atoms and is being created by the creator so by you saying na natural selection you're not just so you're not solving the problem where's nature came from where is the process of natural selection came from where is the multiverse came from like because sometimes they say there's a multiverse 10 to the power 500 unseen universes we cannot see we cannot detect okay who created those multiverses who created this universe and those multiverses I know multiverse is just a philosophical it's not really science it's just philosophy but even if I go with you who created those multiverses you still didn't answer the question there must be a, a creator at the end created according to the laws of logic there must be a creator who created the multiverse who created the this universe and everything in it who created the natural selection process so basically now we talk in philosophy <laughs> and I think there's a lot of philosophers agree with me uh, because at the end you need something to start all of this and we leave that to philosophers but that's my insight in the subject why I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <laughs> another reason why I believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the history of religion like uh, Jewish people they believe in Elohim which is the same name in Arabic Allah 
Jesus believed in Allah in Arabic, which is the same name in Arabic Allah. It's one God, one humanity, one religion. What is that one religion? Submission. To submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To submit to the Creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who created the heavens and the earth and what's between them. And, and Moses was a submitter to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jesus was a submitter to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He called him Allah in Aramaic. Uh, Moses called him Elohim in, in Hebrew. It's the same God, Allah. Allah in Arabic, Elohim in Hebrew, Allah in Aramaic. Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace and blessings and mercy of Allah upon them all. Because I believe in Jesus as a Muslim. I must believe in Jesus as a Muslim or I won't become a Muslim but I believe that Jesus is a prophet uh, peace and blessings and mercy of Allah upon him like Muhammad like Moses peace and blessings like Noah uh, like Adam all of them prophets to humanity they all came as a messengers to humanity in different time different cultures but it's the same religion submission submission in Arabic call, means al Islam and this this is where the word Islam come from <coughs> from the word submission the word submission means al Islam which is meaning what does al Islam mean and the one who submit his name is a Muslim Muslim is a submitter Islam is a submission and all the prophets from Adam to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam they were submitters to the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's what Islam means and this is what the Quran says in the deen and Allah al-Islam what does that mean? That the religion is being accepted from Allah is submission. That's what it means. That you submit to the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order to win after this life, after you die, hopefully you're going to live a long time. I wish you happiness and a long life, happy life. But at the end, Eventually, this universe cannot die. According to astrophysics, the universe, eventually, after a long time, will die. <laughs> and I ask physicists how the universe will die. Some of them, they say it will die in a big crunch. Some of them, they say it's going to die in a big rip. After that, when that happens, at the end, you need to go to paradise. You don't want to go to hellfire, Gulf of it. That's why we submit to the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we want to go to paradise, inshallah. In God's will, inshallah. So, let's go back to the tafsir. Here Allah tells us that He is the he is to be praised for his perfect attributes, for his greatness and majesty in general, and for his for the attributes mentioned in this mentioned here in particular. He praised himself for creating the heavens and the earth, which are indicative of his perfect might and of his perfect might and for his vast knowledge and mercy uh, he his immense wisdom for his for his uh, 
unequined unequals in position pos posing the power of creation and control for creating darkness let me just read this correctly because I think I didn't read it correctly You need this as possessing the power of creation and control and for creating darkness and light. Uniqueness in possessing the power of creation and control and for creating darkness and light. You could download this uh, uh, tafsir from, from the link I'm going to leave for you in the description. And you could download this uh, reading tool too from uh, Microsoft Edge. It's called Read Loud Selected Text. See? Uniqueness of Uniqueness possessing, of possessing the, power the power of creation, creation, and, creation control and control and for creating, and for darkness, creating darkness and light. And light. This will help you with your reading if you need it. Because you know I speak Arabic and sometimes the Arabic uh, takes over my tongue and I speak English too sometimes the English take over my tongue so I have to deal with two languages and I'm an old man getting old so forgive me if I make any mistake so I stop right here for this verse because I need to take a break Jazakumullah khayran don't forget us in your dua Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.